most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. When we do these audio casts, we do it so that you can multitask and do other things while you're listening. I don't promise that everything that I record is a masterpiece of any kind. I simply channel for the Lord and ask Him for the help in writing and scripting my life. I literally walk through town all day long, practicing scenes, writing different notes for me that I will use in the future or for me right now. I also script a lot of things for people in politics that most people don't know how. But it is truthful that there is a satellite in the sky that can literally come down within an inch or two of your face from the top down, which means it doesn't matter whether they see your cell phone, which they can, or whether they see my cell phone, which they can't, because somebody keeps monkeying with it. But what's amazing to me is that my computer will be completely off, and yet someone is monkeying with my computer, the way that it's set up, the way that I hold my photos, how large they are, how small they are, and somebody has turned on my VPN without my permission. What that means is I have a Muslim, Chinese, or Korean, or police officer hacker, and I have never given you that permission. They used to hack through the VPN of my other computer that went to black screen when I was a state away, and I find that highly obscene. I don't know who the fuck you are, it's not true. God will lead me to afar to find you, to hunt you, and to kill you for your stupidity of play. Every time you play this game with someone's life, thinking you're in charge of someone, that you're better than someone, that you're the same as someone, you've lied to yourself. The truth is, when I make recordings on the side of the road, it's because I don't have my studio anymore. And I don't have my studio anymore because some little fuck hacked my life and little white chick Catholic thinks she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about. And that's what she says in her mind. I can read any little motherfucker in the world is true, but they have to be someone open to God rebuking their life. If you don't want rebuke, don't talk to me, because I can read you in seconds. I literally can read just about every mark there is in the world not true, but I can tell who belongs here and who does not. That's true. A discoverer for the military points to things and says, take care of it. They don't get involved with it. They just say, there's something wrong here. There's something monkey here. There's something foolish here. There's something noisy here. There's something here. And that is their job to go with their tools, their investigations, their satellite networks, their cell phone ab ab abbreviations, and literally find out what's wrong. Tonight, I literally was walking towards someone who prayed and said, please show me something today. At first, I was hesitant, but then I went and I did it, and I believe it will work out right for the people that are protected by that. But I can tell you that we've been monkeyed with, that we've lost some girls already on campus because of stupidity of play by people hacking a cell phone, ruining a man's rights to use his batteries, and all the stupid play that these black children do today. And I have to say that because it's the only experience I have, that since I arrived here I've been monkeyed with, played with, insulted, and harassed by mainly black and Mexican families. And I also get insulted on almost a regular basis by this Arab boy who thinks I can't tell he's the same kid every fucking time. It's annoying as hell to me. But I've told people in my ministry what I look for. I look for something quite simple. You can either give me some cash and I will use it for me or to someone else who's in need, like Miss Grace, who I like to help when I can and I see her on the street, who gets monkeyed with in her food because of the way the government's play into these pantries, but that's another story for another day. I also appreciate having gift cards from places like Target where I can go in and get my food or other people food for the day. If you want to help someone, you don't help someone trying to control them. That's called financial abuse. You don't try and buy someone food and not allow them the right to refuse. Don't go to a store and presume you know someone's health needs in that moment of time. Don't go in and presume you know someone's cellular health needs in any point of life. At no time are you having the right to take someone's life into your hands. In a time of COVID, in a time of pandemic, in a time of any kind of stranger danger, we do not walk up and try to give people a food from a restaurant because you cannot prove when you bought it, you cannot prove who handled it, and you cannot prove that you didn't monkey it. When you want to help someone to be tried and true for the house of the Lord, whatever your predilection or your religious background is, you simply go into a store, get some cash, and walk over and hand it to them and walk away with nothing more in your hands today.